So trading on margin is generally a more advanced strategy that's going to allow you to invest with borrowed funds. Now, this is something that is available to you on Moomoo, but as a more advanced strategy, there's kind of a lot of things that go into investing on margin. So in this video, we're gonna break down exactly what you need to know about margin on Moomoo if you do plan to potentially use margin on this stock trading platform. Now, if you're still on the fence about Moomoo and you haven't signed up yet, we will have a link in the description and pinned comment below that will allow you to score some free stocks as well as support the channel in the process if you would like to do that. But if you've already got an account, let's dive right on into it. So first off, just a little bit of context on Moomoo. The platform is a free stock trading platform that is tailored more towards active traders and investors that are looking for a lot of technical resources and data. The platform is a lot more comprehensive than something like Robinhood, and it's gonna have a more similar vibe to an app like Weeble. However, it kind of goes a little bit above and beyond Weeble in terms of the tools and resources that they provide to investors. Now, when it comes to trading with margin on Moomoo, the process that you're going to follow in order to trade on margin is very similar to the process that you're going to follow to trade a stock normally. You're just going to find that stock within the Moomoo platform. And then in the same area as the buy and sell buttons, you're going to find buttons that say long margin and short margin. We'll talk more about what those do in just a little bit. But first, I'm going to give you a quick example of how trading on margin actually works. Now, like I mentioned earlier, investing on margin is equivalent to investing with borrowed funds. You're basically borrowing money from Moomoo to invest with. Now, this is usually only done if investors have very high conviction behind their trades and they're very confident that a trade is going to go the way they think it will go. That's because you're paying interest on these borrowed funds. So if you're not very confident in your trade, it's probably not going to make sense for you to borrow money to further back up that trade. Now, let's say there was a stock that you were interested in that had a $100 share price. And let's say you had $500 to invest with. Now, if you're not investing on margin, you could buy five shares of that stock. Pretty simple math, right? I mean, five shares at $100 a piece is $500. Now, let's say you wanna do some margin and actually buy 10 shares of that stock. Okay, so $500 of your cash and then $500 of additional cash or margin from Moomoo. This way you could essentially control 10 shares of the stock, so twice as much with the same amount of money as you had before. Okay, so if there's a move in that stock price, it's going to affect you twice as much because you have exposure to twice as many shares. If that price were to go up from say 10 to $20, you'd make quite a bit more than if you only had five shares, but if that price were to fall from 10 to $5, you would lose quite a bit of money because instead of just losing 50% of your position, you have lost all $500 of your capital because how margin investing works, when the stock price starts to go down, that eats into your capital, not Moomoo's capital. Because Moomoo lent you $500, they need to get paid back $500 plus interest. So if that stock price goes down, that is on you, not on them. Now let's go back and talk about long and short margin. These are basically the two uh, simple types of margin investing that you can pursue. Now, long margin is basically what we just talked about in that example. Okay, you're borrowing funds in order to buy more shares. Okay, you think the stock price is going to go up and you want to own more shares. You want to control more shares of that stock so you have more exposure to it. That is long margin. Now, short margin is the opposite. Okay, if you're shorting a stock, you are borrowing a share of that stock and then selling it. Okay, and then you expect the price of that stock to go down so that you can buy it back for cheaper than you sold it for. Kind of a little bit complicated if you've never shorted a stock before, but the gist of it is that you expect the stock price to go down. And so you're borrowing funds with the expectation that the stock price goes down. If it goes down, you profit if you are short margin. So all that being said, on Moomoo, you're basically able to use margin whether you think the stock price will go up or go down. You can use margin to profit on both of those scenarios. Now, a really important thing to talk about when it comes to margin is what are the interest rates being charged? Because this is a very important calculation for all investors. Okay, you have to know what is the cost of capital to to invest with. Now with Moomoo, it's going to be pretty high compared to some other platforms out there. Uh, the Moomoo margin rates can be pretty high. So it's going to be a flat 6.8% across the board as of the time of recording this video. Obviously this can change over time and likely will, but at this point it is a 6.8% interest rate on that margin loan, which honestly is, like I said, pretty high compared to a lot of other platforms out there. So if margin investing is what you're going for, Moomoo might not be the best platform for you. And you might be better served with a platform like M1 Finance or Robinhood that tend to have lower margin rates. However, depending on your investing strategies, investing on margin with Moomoo might actually make sense for you. So it's up to you to make that determination for yourself. Now, if you wanna learn more about margin on Moomoo, we have a full comprehensive article on our website, 
investingsimple.com. The easiest way to find that is to head on over to Google, search for Moomoo Margin, and then click on the link for investingsimple.com. We'll see you over there.